Hey guys, and welcome back to another review. Today, we're going to look at the new 2015 version of the Google Chromecast. For those of you that don't know what the Chromecast is, it's a media streaming device that plugs into your TV through the HDMI port and then wirelessly connects your TV to your iPhone, your iPad, your Android phone, tablet, and even your Windows or Mac laptop. Once connected, you could then wirelessly stream your applications with just one button. This works with Netflix, Pandora, YouTube, Hulu, HBO Go, and many, many other apps. And as I said before, this is the second gen of the Chromecast. Uh, there are a few improvements that they made to this model over the first version. Uh, the biggest and most noticeable one they increased the Wi-Fi reception. They did this by upgrading the antenna to a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz model that supports the new 802.11 AC standard. So you'll get much, much greater and faster streaming. They also changed the form factor to a thinner and easier to hide shape, which we'll look at right now. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what's in the box. Uh, as you can see, this is the new version of the Chromecast. It is packaged a little differently. I did get the black model. It is also available in yellow and red. Uh, I figured this is going to be behind my TV, so really the color is not going to matter. You can see some of the apps it's kept compatible with here. Uh, YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, HBO Go, ESPN Watch. Uh, there's actually a whole bunch more on the side here. CBS, Twitch, MLB TV. Uh, and then there's apps available at the App Store as well as Google Play. Uh, in the back, a uh, really simple setup, HDMI, push your cast button, cables included, pretty straightforward. So, let's get it open. Uh, here's our instructions. Step one, plug into power and TV. Step two, switch TV input. And step three, set it up. Easy enough. Inside the box here, and we can see our actual Chromecast here. Nice and easy. This is a magnet to the back to keep it all together when you're not using it. Very good. All we have here is our little receiver and our HDMI connection. It's flexible. Uh, I think part of the redesign is they um, increased the antenna. I think they actually have some of the antenna running in here, so it's a little better range. And also, you can. Um, the previous model was a was a dongle, and you'd plug it in, and you know there really wasn't much clearance. If you had like a wall mount TV, there was really no room for it to fit in there. So this works good. You can plug it in. This can hang down in any direction you want uh, to accommodate better, uh, like wall mounting and stuff like that. Let's see what else we have inside of here. We have our our power. And that is it. Uh, USB connection looks like a micro USB there. Um, and just a typical. USB plug on the other end, pretty straightforward. I think you could probably actually plug this into the back of your TV if your TV had a USB, which would allow you not have to run this down to power. You can actually get power from your TV. So you'd use this for power and obviously plug that in your HDMI. Uh, but I'll test that and make sure it works, but I'm fairly certain it will. So that's that. Let's um, get it hooked up to the TV and try and get it set up. Okay, I went and got my Chromecast app from the App Store. I uh, went through the simple setup process. Really, it was just entering your uh, your Wi-Fi info and stuff like that. Um, I have the app open here on my phone. You can see Chromecast. Open it up. All right, here's the app. Uh, it's got this What's On section. Basically, it highlights stuff from YouTube and Netflix and popular movies, Twitch, CBS, all this good stuff here. Um, you can click on this Devices tab here. And it lists um, the living room. You can see it's the same picture as my TV right there. Um, what's really cool is I can go up here and click this. Cast screen slash audio. I don't know if you can see that. And then, oh, cast to living room. That's what I named this. And you can see that my TV is now mirroring what's on my phone. Turn it this way, it works that way. Turn it that way, it works that way. Pretty cool. If I want to check my YouTube, or if I have a friend over and I want to show him YouTube, all I got to do is find a movie. Like, oh, let's watch this one. 
You can see I'm mirroring, but if I hit this button right here, connect to living room, done, it will automatically play it on the TV. I don't have control over it on my iPad. As you can see now it's playing on my TV and on here it's not doing anything. Basically it plays it here and then here I have the ability to pause it, I can play it, I can find something else to play. So it's really cool. You can do the same thing with uh, Pandora, which I tested, which is great. I actually played that um, from my living room. I was sitting on my sofa. I want to put some music on my TV. Pop open my phone, put Pandora on, hit the Chromecast button, and there, there it is on my TV playing through my surround sound. So really, it's great. Um, I haven't used it too, too much, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, and I... Uh, I can see a lot of use in the future. The Google Chromecast is a good option for people who do not have a smart TV to add application functionality. Even if you do have a smart TV, it makes an easy way to change apps and share your favorite Pandora songs or YouTube videos with your friends. Not to mention the screen mirroring feature is really impressive. So at a price point less than the Amazon Fire TV Stick, which offers many of the same features, this is definitely worth picking up. So, thanks for watching the review on the new Google Chromecast. If you enjoyed the video, click that thumbs up button. If you did not like the video, click the thumbs down button. Most importantly, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be alerted to all of my new videos as well as be entered into my future giveaways. So until next time, this is Adam for Let's Open It. Goodbye. Let's take a look at the box, see if you see anything you like. I can see here this is a 24 inch monitor. 1920 by 1080 resolution, so it is full HD capable. I'll have a number of 24, 14HM. It does say it has a DVI input, as well as a DVI. Uh, which could be a negative for me, but I wasn't.